Hello, how's it going boys? What is up? Uh, we back again. Uh, update for Magna Tree related things. So now we have uh, Fire fire and Dark. We have Colossus and Celeste officially up now. I'm pretty sure you can go check for yourself. It's right here. It's already right there. Colossus, yep. Yeah, and Celeste is right there now. Alright, so we're just gonna quickly try to... Well, try to get through what, what we have learned so far. Of, or more like what I've learned so far. <laughs> Alright. So for the weapons, uh, it's actually quite simple for Colossus, which is... Okay, so this applies for most likely every single Magna Tree in the game. So basically the Exalto weapon, the Exalto weapon, every single one of them will have one, okay? But the only thing you really need to pay attention to is really just this. This is the most important weapon out of the tree usually because this is the one that really requires well you require to slot in your grid most of the time so on bare minimum these days from what i tend to see every single time you want to get the exaltos uh in your grid like in the right amount is always tree okay tree is always the right amount and the others for the others it really just depends on what kind of uh, mod they are because they seem to be not always the same. So like for this one in particular, both Celeste and uh, Colossus have Tempering. Tempering is the uh, the skill supplemental skill cap uh, kind of mod. So yeah, for this Colossus in particular, same goes for uh, Celeste as well. The one with the Tempering, which is this one, I think, yeah. So for the X, for Colossus X and Celeste is Katana, if I recall correctly, the Tempering one. So for this one in particular, right, I'll actually get into this the last one later. For this one, it's actually very, very good for fire because fire never had this as a farmable one. Because yeah, we did it. Fire, it's not like fire has like like a uh, agonize or whatnot, right? So yeah, this one's very good. And usually, how it tends to work for every single tempering tempering ish weapon in the game. So like say for example, like grand versions. Uh, just to put it simply. An example would be like Nehan's Harp or um, uh, Fidel's Spear. Yeah, Fidel's Spear, like the, the Grand Fidel Spear. And there's another example then, or like Earth, Sandalphorn, for example. Those ones, those ones usually you want to only have two anyway. Same goes for this as well, because they're all big, right? All of them are big. So like, uh, yeah, since I'm already sh I already have uh, Dark here. So yeah, this is all big. So big, this, this tampering thing, you always want to go to. Two is always the oops, the the most you want to go for. This is only okay. I cannot stress this enough because I know a lot of people has been asking me throughout the stream today. If you want to use this tempering, right, you must use uh, you must use primal slash magna. So if this in particular, you have to use magna summon. Okay, you have to use magna summon, and a lot of times you want to use both uh. uh if you are using both main and sub, like support, not sub, sorry, main and support summon as Magna, then yeah, two will be good. Two is way better, okay? You always want to use summons, your, your main summons for that one. If you're using like elemental summons or whatnot, that doesn't scale with it. You have to remember this scales with your summons, okay? This all scales with your summon. If you're not using those summon, you're not scaling the number at all. It tends to go really, really high up if you, are, if you have the summon. If you do not have the summon, it does fuck all, really. So this, with this in mind, this applies very heavily on Agonize as well. So to put it simply, right, if you want to use Agonize, you're relying on summons that doesn't multiply at all. So if you're using like Elemental and whatnot that has nothing to do with Primal slash Magna summons, you use Agonize, okay? So like, say for example, like, um, take, um, where is a good example? Yeah, just, 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 take, just take this for example, right? I'm not really bothered with using, uh, you see, I'm not really bothered with using, uh, the, 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 the thing, right? See, <laughs> I don't, I'm not really bothered with that. So you go and use Agonize. In this situation, Agonize is the key, okay? If you're using two main summons, like, uh, where's my Baha one somewhere? Yeah, this one. See, I'm using Shiny. So I use two of these. So you see, this is the tempering. See, this is how it works. This one technically gives more than Agonize if you have like the, the mods to like 
you know, multiply it basically, right? That's why it's uh, a lot better that way. So outside of that, you don't you don't don't use agonize, okay? <laughs> if you're not using the summons like like this, you don't use agonize. But for this also applies to the fire one. Actually, every element really like actually when they use tempering. So this is how it works, okay? You always want to use the main summons like uh, either Magna or Primal, whichever your 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 focus that. Okay, so hopefully that's clear enough. Okay, we good? We good? Okay. <laughs> All right. The next one is probably like the the final weapon out of them is like probably looks like the most supposedly niche one because the I think the the Celeste one is kind of weird because <laughs> the uh, this one is like fucking uh, crit and uh, crit and some what the hell is the thing again crit and fucking healing cap or something. <laughs> Yeah, crit and healing cap. <laughs> and then with Garrison. For this in particular, we don't we, it may look quite meme right now, but there's a very, very high chance we might actually be able to use this in like higher tier raids. Like really, really hard raids kind of scenarios, okay? That's why I wouldn't really like throw this to the side immediately because these are stackable as well. These can be multiplied with summons as well. So in other words, with all the help with your exaltos and whatnot, having one of these is probably already more than enough. I'm not sure how, how many do you really want with this, but from what I've gathered so far, this one seems to be okay with just once. And this applies to the Colossus version. I do not have Colossus yet. I only managed to farm uh, uh, Celeste so far. We're going to go Colossus tomorrow because... Yes, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so for Colossus, is a sword, right? Colossus is healing, which is, um, what do you call that? Big, big uh, healing cap. And then uh, Grace is a small HP and debuff resistance, which is also kind of like on the niches, niche side. But I can kind of see this being used as well for like, say for example, like Far Zero as well. Because, you know, like hard raids like this, tends to benefit having extra like insane amount of extra healing cap, uh, more HP, debuff resistance, any form of defense whatsoever. These kind of scenarios definitely help out a lot. Like weapons like these, I mean, sorry. So all these are actually very helpful. This one in particular, I would probably suggest one as well because this looks like uh, just having one might actually be very, very helpful too. But I feel like a lot of times, the moment you start farming your, your Exaltos, right? From my experience, after completing Chef, Tiamat, and Celeste now, I always will be able to get all of them done. Because apparently the last one to be completed is always the Exalto anyway. Because that's usually like the most sorted out, you know, every time. So the moment you try like continue just farming just to reach to that point for your Exalto weapons, you're probably done with the rest already. So that's why it's usually, it's usually fine. So to put it simply, to TLDR for you guys, uh, Colossus is 1, 2, and 3. <laughs> Same goes for, for Celeste as well. So this one is one, usually like minimum, this is just bare minimum one, this is minimum uh, minimum two, this is minimum three. Maximum this one is probably five, but that's really up entirely up to you. This one maybe I can see, there's maybe a small chance of it maybe being two, but I feel like it's probably too much anyway, because you want to slot in, uh, most likely slot in like Mugen Sword or something. But yeah, so one, two, and three. So same goes for Celeste as well. So Celeste is also one, two, and three. So uh, yeah, this one, one. This is three. This yeah. Uh, this one is three, and this is two. Okay, we cool. Okay, so now with that out of the way, I've only farmed Celeste so far, and my Celeste setup is very very shit, but it managed to work out because uh, I'm more or less done already with one k ish. This is actually somehow similar amount as my chef for some reason i think my chef is a little bit more but uh yeah i guess i got pretty lucky with celeste though <laughs> because i did not really guarantee blue most of the time and i managed to finish three three of them already uh same goes for tempering i have two of uh two of them done as well so yeah i usually just farm three i never really bother farming five i just aim at three and just sit there if i probably might just host every now and then but I don't really go too hard on it. For this in particular, I guess I can show you what I actually used to farm Celeste. So the one I technically use 
was my my light setup which is this one i changed it a little bit but because now it's like super fast right so what i used was uh i'm using bandit tycoon and um I'm using with the ultimate mastery skill. So the this first skill, the roll of the die, because this one gives you flurry. And because you know, uh, for those who are not familiar with uh, Celeste yet as well, Celeste has a so-called, uh, an, you know, like red white kind of buff to, uh, to, uh, to you where, well, it's not really a buff. It's more like debuff to use, my bad. Where as long as you have any form of debuff on you, because, Celeste pours in a fuck ton of debuffs. So any form of debuffs, each debuff you have, your damage will be capped each one of them. So in other words, if you do like the usual Relic Buster stuff, right? We have like Florence or whatever. Your damage is going to cap very, very heavily. You cannot hit that high. Like, I think I'm supposed to hit like, uh, I don't know, like probably close to 5 mil or so. But I've been capped to like 3.6. So it's really, really like heavily capped. So it's kind of bad. So... What we did was that I'm just using this Bandit Tycoon thing. So instead of uh, just doing all in one hit, we, I'm just splitting it with Flurry. <laughs> you can technically do it with Mana Diver as well, but I'm just using this since it, it worked and I was too lazy to switch. I just continue mashing, right? So this is what I used with the Flurry thing. Okay, that's all I used. Full auto-wise, I just click Flurry as well. Nothing else. This one is all for show only. Uh, if you want to see my EMP, I don't think I've... I don't even know if I actually set anything at the bottom. Yeah, like at the bottom, I didn't really set that much. But uh, if you want to see, this is what I have. Okay, you can screenshot if you want to see what I used. But yeah, that's what I used. <laughs> Probably I could have added more like, maybe like triple at, I don't, I don't know, more multi attack or whatnot. <laughs> but okay. So one of my main issues with this is that because it was so fast, I tried to like reduce as much buttons as I can. So far, this but this setup is like a three button one summon setup that I somehow managed to pull off. And the 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 honors is ranges between eight hundred k to I think the most I've seen was one point four mil. It's usually ranged around there, but I think on average it tends to be like around nine hundred k or so, nine hundred k to like close to a mil around there. So it's like I say, it's not really the best, but it kind of worked out because I what I originally planned to do, my idea was because I can't hit fast enough to one mil, what I ended up doing is that I tried to get it as close to one mil as possible to make that as consistent as I can. So at least I can try to YOLO some blues if possible. That's why a lot of times my, my blues, my blue chest is like very, very inconsistent. So like for example, I think if I just go like randomly i just go and check like uh my battle logs here or oh, not this one <laughs> so this okay that one i got blue this one i got blue this one i got blue oh that i, I yeah, see no blue here yeah but i like shit that one okay <laughs> yeah no blue there uh, this one i got blue yeah i got blue here wait why am i getting so much so many blues in this one <laughs> Yeah, but you know, it's not really 100% cons- Oh, there, there we go. There's no blue there. Okay, I got blue again. Yeah, no blue again. So you see, like, there, there are some, like, there's no blue, right? It's it's not 100% consistent, but at least maybe maybe 70% of the time I can at least get blue, right? So it's still, like, at least there's something there. I originally had Florence here, but because Florence is another extra button, so I just removed it altogether. I used John because she has this thingy here. Where is the thingy? Yeah, this thingy. Extra echo on a triple attacks thing. So, but uh, what I tend to do is that because I didn't press, I didn't enable this because this is where you guarantee triple attacks for your entire team if you're using Nehan. This thing is a waste of time. So I try to like reduce as much button as possible. So now my setup is that it's really just based on my grid and my buffs or whatnot to really make my multi-attack more consistent. That's why I decided to like, I tried using two of these, but it seems to doesn't really make too much of a difference, but like, yeah. Yeah, I just went through full Magna because my Primal sucks. Because <laughs> I do not have like Luofis and all the other stuff. So I just like, yeah, I just use this. It worked out, who cares, right? So yeah, I just used three guns, two Katanas from uh, Chef uh, Magna Tree, two Harmonias, the, the fist thingy. Technically, you can change this if you want, but like, I just slot whatever that is there at the moment. Same goes for this. So yeah, auto and skill cap, but I don't think... 
skill cap, I don't think really matter too much because I'm not really nuking at all. Yeah, I don't think I'm nuking at all, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, the most important one, I think I remember I did, I did the uh, Freya key. So you get the Chain of Temptation, that's what I did. And then the uh, the main buttons is just MC in one here, this one. And then uh, S1 and S3 for Nehan. And I also cast my Babu. So Babu, the so three buttons, three buttons and Babu. So that's what I did. And then this is the kind of like, I guess the... Uh, supposing so final final one i did technically i can just remove this to be fair because i never really ended up using two summons anyway so you can technically just remove this if you have chef you can just use chef i think that's fine too so i slot them in here because this uh hellmel summon does give you some form of uh, multi-attack which i obviously needed since i'm not guaranteed anyway the rest is i put i originally i my idea was the reason why I used Yatima was that I wanted to cast this as well. And the reason is because I was or originally using Star Gun and because I could just cast another summon and then it's done, right? I cast another summon and then just attack and you'll be guaranteed one meal plus. But because it's too damn fast and I'm too slow, that can work. So that's why. Okay, so that's the, uh, that's the setup that I... I'm coping with and it worked out in the end so who cares right <laughs> but yeah so the the main one you definitely want is just one two three four five this two you can just swap whichever if you have chef you can just put chef in there this one you technically don't need to so if you have any form of other I don't know whatever salmon they just give you like raw stats as well that probably can be helpful too so yeah that's really about it um do, do I need to demo this? Do I need... Uh, you know what? Let's try, I guess. I know it's going to be... A, the, raid, the raid battle is full. You can participate. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. The, another thing, you need a chef summon as a support as well. I'm, which I'm pretty sure you have plenty of, but not for me because... Oh, wait. I have one here. <laughs> yeah, because I do not have a lot of uh, friends that has a uh, sh chef summon. So, yeah. Raid battle is full. You can participate. I don't even know if I can even show it because it's going so fucking fast right now. But you, you probably have to take my word for it because that's what I've, I've been doing. That's really all I can share right now. Hopefully, uh, that helps in any way, shape or form. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys maybe tomorrow or something whenever I try to test. I don't know if I'm testing the 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 celeste thing or not i don't know maybe maybe not i don't know i haven't really considered yet because <laughs> uh tomorrow is going to be a colossus day for me unfortunately but yeah we kind of done with that we got enough to upgrade all of them anyway so there's that all right good luck with your farm boys good luck with your magna tree farm uh i'm gonna join you again tomorrow so yeah good luck take it easy and i'll see you guys next time xdd okay bye bye all right we're done